This is Tita on Plus TV Africa, where we bring to you the biggest sentiment stories and definitely analyze them for you. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Hi. How are you doing? Well. Okay. <laughs> okay, so me, I'm sure excited this morning. Fireboy's album mm. is blazing hot. Mm. I mean, I remember the last time we spoke about it when the teaser was dropped and... Um, I was kind of worried about him meeting the standard he has placed for mm. himself. But interestingly, I think he passed that standard. So mm. for me, it's interesting to see Olamide rapping in English. <laughs> I mean, that's the track. And then one day Cole did that voice. Yeah. Thing. I mean, my money was made once I streamed that album. And yeah. kudos to Fireboy. This is just fire. Basically. I agree. I've, I've so, well, so far, I've only listened to, I think, about five. Mm -hmm. And there's three that I really like. Um, the one with Wendy Cole, of mm -hmm. course. <laughs> Um, there's one also with um, the one with Olamide. Then there's one feature where it's just no um, feature, rather um, just him. Okay, it has this answer. funny sound. It's a bit slow. It's about love. Uh, uh, I, I dreamer. Is it dreamer? I'm not even sure. Now. I was listening um, this morning. I mean, there are lots. There's a lot. He did well. I think it was it was a bit. I don't know. Maybe I might be speaking for. for Is it favorite song? No, uh, yes. Favorite song is it? It's, it's yes. just a different kind of vibe. vibe just yeah. into it. But I like... feel like this song was very targeted at women. I don't see how men might like this album. I don't know if. Do you feel that way? Or All right. Like so it? for me, this album is um a mix of soul, R and B. It's like a mix of um if we have to put Nigerian musicians or if we, can I go international? It's like putting a weekend. It's putting like a whiskey. And it's putting like um, a what now? An adequately gold in one mm. mix to create an album. So he has the mm. R and B, he has the soul, he has the Afro fusion. That's why adequately gold is in it it's because he has the Afro fusion. So that's why I felt like this album was on point. It's not a bad album, but it didn't meet up to expectations for me as a music head, as a music critic. I do not think so. Mm. I think this album was a little bit too early. Laughter, Tears and Goosebumps is an album that would never... I'm not done listening to that album. Mm. I listened to that album up to date and I still feel like I haven't even heard some words. Mm. Do you understand? That's an album. But this one, I listened to it all through the night. I did some crazy stuff with it all through the night. And then I woke up this morning listening to the same album again. And before the show went live, I was still bumping to that album. And it still don't do it for me like mm. Laughter, Tears and Goosebumps. So is it a good album? Absolutely, yes. Did it meet up to standard or did it go below standard in my personal opinion it went below standard but like you said um favorite song has that it's a vibe it's a vibe yeah that has that old school feeling and that makes in it like it has that yes it has to be your favorite song and i think that's the favorite song on the album for mm. Mm. okay anyway. I, well <laughs> i mean it, it, it's a strong point because i think laughter at goosebumps and whatever and crying is <laughs> just call it LCG. <laughs> LCG. Mm -hmm. Every single song on there for me a was a banger. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can say that. That was dropped November 2019. I mean, I, I would have expected that they would at least wait for a whole year before dropping another album. But you wow. know how Olamide does his thing. Like, he's a hard worker. He's always in the studio mm -hmm. dropping one song or the other. So I'm not surprised that Fireboy is doing this under Olamide. But as far as I'm concerned, though, personally, this album surpassed the last one. Ah. I mean, nice. I streamed so LTG for more than one month non-stop. So this one, I, I know the feeling I'm getting. And this I mean, is personal. Should I, should I tell you the vibe that, I mean, that this, will, that will probably change amazing. this perspective? Do you know what you should do? What's that? If you can create them, if you have the time, mm -hmm. yeah? Create a mix mm. of laughter, tears, and goosebumps mm. and this album. Don't separate them. Don't listen to them separately, right? Mm -hmm. Create a mix and play all the songs back to back and put it on shuffle. Let some songs from laughter, tears, and mm. goosebumps drop. Let some from this album drop. I'm telling you, fam, yeah. you are going to. The, I think love for this album, yeah. Because that was what there, I did. For me personally, there are a lot of matured sounds playing with the instrument on this particular one way more than LTG. Now, Agreed. it depends on Agreed. what you want in, the, in music. But for me, okay, yeah, I, I missed that, 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 that one. I missed that one. The guitar that one. on that one was fire. I missed that one. Fire. Fire. Yeah, yeah. Now that you that guys have brought that up, yeah, I missed yeah, one yeah, element when amazing. I was talking about mixing and that they couldn't go to whiskey yeah. and, 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 and the weekend. 
It's also like putting a SaaS production into this. Mm. Do you understand? You know the quality SaaS production. Now, obviously, production. its quality yeah, will be so, fire. Yeah, so it's, anyway, it's shout out mixing to all of that Fireboy. together. Of course. Made my day. Me too. Mm -hmm. I'm always going to listen to it after the show. I, I haven't stopped. In fact, yeah. I'm just starting. I've done it twice. I'm going for the third one. But um, tea time will continue right before, after yeah. this very short break. Welcome to Tea Time, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, feeling good. No time to die. Everybody's feeling alright. Minimal are you? Mm. music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Duty Time on Plus TV Africa. Rapper Eriga is set to um, get married. He is going to walk down the aisle with his long, long time girlfriend, Morenike. Moreni care. The name is working for her, isn't it? She's <laughs> found someone to care for Should her. Should I go and be a Moreni care? <laughs> Have you? So, let me. Uh, we'll know if it's will work for you. You know. Anyway. Well, congratulations to them. Yeah. I, I like the um, pre wedding shoot. Yeah. And this is supposed to happen in October, right? Based on their caption. So yeah. um, we look forward to that that kind of turn up because everybody's yeah. being creative in their turn up these days. So mm. we want to see what they do with theirs. So, but well, congratulations to them. They have a child together already. Yeah. So. Kudos. I like how like the pictures looked really mm -hmm. classy and fun, but it didn't look like over overdone. No offense to some people, but I feel like sometimes people are trying too to make effort. yeah to and you just show that you, you can waste money on stupid things. Mm -hmm. This one looks really cool. Like they don't look like they were playing games, but it didn't look like. A joke like okay guys calm down it's just a pre-wedding photo shoot like mm. it was really nicely done i'm not sure how her mother feels about this outfit because i can already imagine um you know the one here is not transparent yet the the material is just the same color with her skin well i mean it's it's still as good as oh. ah, to me oh if you're doing illusion <laughs> of, i don't know i'm just uh, what She's first thing sorry. i thought about was <laughs> my, imagine uh, how does your a typical, mom feel about your outfit my outfit, I will know after the show. She has not seen that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not coming from home. But I can already imagine saying, hmm, if you only why would you wear that? And I'm, I know it's not just my mom that's like that. So mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure she's gotten that sort of feedback. Yeah. But either way, man is right there. And they're both happy. I wish them the very best. I'm just happy for um, Eriga. Eriga coming from the streets has done a whole lot for himself. Like, mm. um, came all the way from Delta State, worry boy, you know, started this whole struggle with Young Six. I even think it was even more relevant way before Young Six, but Young Six gained more fame than he did earlier. Okay. And um, Eriga has been putting in work and he's been doing a lot too with his um, social media pages, you know, putting out tweets and stuff that we talk about sometimes. And, um, like you said, the photo shoot doesn't look outdone. It mm. looks just like every well, love. Yeah, it's mm. our business. It's not your business. We're mm. not trying to impress anybody like kind that. of stuff. And um, this also sends a message to a lot of women out there that feel like um, the fact that a man is with you and um, he has a child with you, it doesn't guarantee marriage. Sometimes you just have to be as real as you were when they met you because the same thing happened to Olamide. Olamide probably, I don't know if Olamide has married, it was rumored sometime that mm. he married his baby mama. But I know they live together. I know the child lives with them. And um, I know they're happy together. So this happens a lot. So being a baby mama is not a cause. Mm. It's just something that happens. And then if there's an understanding, it doesn't, it doesn't give you the um now what's it called now the sense of entitlement for marriage because you have a child for me then that sense of entitlement is there that we must marry no take your time let the person actually build his life his process and decide exactly what he wants and if marriage is not the thing then also happiness is the key word here all righty 
Should we talk about the? <laughs> <laughs> should we talk about? The, I mean, that that's a point to to bring in, mm. but it's a full on conversation for uh. another day. And I would have liked it to also be more balanced. I don't think it's all about the man making decisions about how to. Anyway, but yeah, uh, okay, may, my bad on that one because it's, it's both ways. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, another thing I saw in the comment sections was also the height difference, and it brings the conversation that would you be with somebody. As a woman now, or yeah, as a man, would you be with somebody that's much bigger than My you? girlfriend is taller than me. Mm. Okay. So I guess that answers your question. Mm. That my question. Yeah. You? <laughs> she's taller, she's bigger. I look smaller. I don't know why I just want to keep laughing because it's saving me from talking. But yeah, of course, my boyfriend has to be taller than I am. Mm, it doesn't too. have to be six foot, yeah, but I have to look up to you. Yeah, I feel like because I'm so short already, I can't. We look like children. Like, mm -hmm. nah, you have to be at least taller than me. It's yeah. not a hard um, mm. achievement if you're taller than me. Yeah. yeah. My girlfriend is taller than me, and gladly she doesn't look down on me. It's just girls with issues that look down on their men. Feel when I say work. looking down, nah, it's not work. in that sense. It's not like I have to that person. Mm. When it has to be time to kiss, mm. I don't have to look down to kiss you. Something like that. But no, don't worry. And you're not I mean, sure. It change so anything. We don't look down to kiss each other, man. Because there are the, the different up. ways of kissing. You get. So when you're standing... Wait, now let's be practical. So when she, she's taller than you, when she's standing and you're standing, how does the kiss happen? You don't have to... Well, she if, if comes you know down. me, you know me that I like I, love I cannot rocking. know you in that way anyway. You, you know I love rocking sneakers, right? No, not that way. You know so I the love sneakers, sneakers. Is yeah, high So here. sneakers, they up my heights now. Now I know we lie. Okay, <laughs> moving on to the next story. Britney Spears wants a manager or her manager, her longtime manager, to replace her dad as her conservator. In the paperwork obtained by TMZ, she also expresses her desire to have a qualified corporate fiduciary appointed to take over the business side of her estate, which had been under Jamie's exclusive control since his co-conservator retired in 2019. This story really confuses me a it's lot. Tiring from. Uh, I, I still don't understand how a grown woman needs so many conservatorships and guidance. So she has and mental health issues. Yes, I understand okay. that, but it's 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 just still really messy. I I, I um Brittany, she gives me uh, this lady's vibe, Whitney Houston's vibe. She. She worries me, is the word. She actually deeply worries me. I know that period where she had the whole breakdown in front of the world, really. Shaved her head in a shop and all that type of stuff. So I'm not going to sit here and act like I, I don't think that she needs that extra guidance and stuff. But I've seen other people, many other people, who are dealing with either drug, substance abuse, mental health issues, and it's not that messy. So it's unfortunate that it, it's beginning to look like she doesn't have the right people for her. And I can't imagine how much that is stifling her growth as a person is probably the reason why we haven't really seen her make music and things like that. I just think that there's more to offer from um, by, by Britney than just who is going to be in charge of my mm -hmm. conservatorship, which is and all she seems been to be. That has battle in the past how many... Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. I, so I it feels like it's really consuming her life. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's really sad. I completely share your train of thought in this one because... Um, at the end of the day, is is making it look like you're not making any improvement, sister. Like, okay, you had drug issues, you had personal life issues, you had this, you had that. Now, are you saying that all these years that you had a conservator, you still haven't been able to get a hold of yourself? So it's it, it feel it, it sounds to me like I know I can't be in control or I'm not ready to grab the bull by the hunt and mm -mm. take control. No, that's how it sounds to me. No, because what, what's, what's being reported is, remember there was one time when they were like, free Britney on, on Twitter. The problem is not that she can't do anything for herself. The problem is that her family is super controlling and is using the a, a conservatorship thing as an exploit. But this so, time, it's not the family. It's not a family member. It's a, it's a manager. So I don't understand. Well, I mean, her dad is still very much involved. Her manager was only for the estate as well. The father is still part of the people who in charge of her. He, this manager came into the picture when because the father of, had yeah. health issues, No, this is right? her long-time manager. Yeah, like but he came, in, no, he came into the picture she of actually. conservatorship okay. when... No, no, she is not part of the conservatorship right now. So this is why they're filing the case. No, she has her been to in take conservatorship over. since her dad had manager. health issues. You're not listening, fam. I'm saying and when I'm telling you, I'm listening, I'm here, but I'm telling you that's not the case. She has nothing as of now to, with, to do with anything that has to You're do with conservatorship. You're wrong about that. That's what I'm letting you know. That okay. right now, she's in charge of a conservatorship since her dad so had health issues. So why are they filing issues. for her to take over? To be permanent. Now, she was a temporary conservator. 
when a dad had health issues and had to step down. This okay. was the person we'll that was Okay, we'll have to confirm there. that anyway, but yeah. The story is just messy. Good luck to, to Brittany. To Brittany I, yeah. I, she needs to just figure out her life. I, I don't know. The person I think about that could help is, what's her name? Uh, Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato seems like somebody that has gone through that. that when she had the wrong... No, and the, the age difference is also quite massive. Yeah. But somebody that has gone through the wrong hands or not having the right team and she you know she cycled down it was too much pressure for her mm -hmm. and it seems like she's in a good space now we don't really hear we hear other things about demi other than that so it's possible for britney to get there i really hope that she this is settled because this is and you know she she has turned down some residency job yeah. too because of um, her thing. inability to really handle the situation so um it would be unfair for us to have like a certain expectation of her to say oh by now you should have been able to handle and when all you that can't. because you don't know how um people's head work mm. it's it's it, what i go through and can be fine it's not the same thing as what the next person will go through and be fine it, it's, it really worries me like you said and i just hope that she can come out of this one stronger yeah. because it's taking longer than i mean expected yeah. but how, who are we to have expectations when it comes to her mental health really mm. well said okay so um megan the stallion has shared photos from gunshot wounds sustained after shooting incident. Um, sharing on her Instagram page, she captioned it saying, I got hit at the back of my feet because when I got shot, I was walking away facing the back. Why would I lie about getting shot? Why are you also upset that I don't want to be in the bed sad? Um, end of quote. Um, she says what she has learned about majority of people on social media is that they like to hear bad news before good news. A lie spreads quicker than the truth and you are really be believing what you all make up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. makes more sense that the gunshot w was at the back and that's why we didn't see it i always said on the table it's kind of it's, it's kind of ridiculous <clears throat> to think that the police will be involved in a pr stunt like mm -hmm. she was obviously shot obviously if somebody is getting shipped back to canada wherever he's from mm -hmm. it's not it's, it's i think it's more than a joke now and more than a pr stunt it was never sent back though whatever mm. Sha, there was police involved. I don't think police is going to be involved in saying, oh, there's no gunshot, gun um, gun um, gun um, but we're going to lie that there is and we're going to make a full-on statement. And we're also going to t tell the world that like, you're not even cooperating with us. That All that mm -hmm. for a show. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. Like, but, um, like I said yesterday, um, you have to get your money up. There's some appearances where you cannot show weakness and um, even if it's there, you still have to be as professional as you, as you can be. And um, I think that's one of those situations where um, WAP WAP was getting um, number one, and she had to celebrate with them, and she had to just, you know, be all out, be a Megan the Stallion. She couldn't be Megan the horse. You get me? So she had to be the Stallion. So amazing stuff that she was shot at the back, and um, amazing stuff. No, that she was shot. Yeah, amazing <laughs> stuff that she was shot at the back, and she mm. could still get and she's recovering properly. And right. I'm really proud she's a strong of that. woman. She's a strong, she's a strong woman. woman. Yeah. So she's really. She should also not. She's earned it. Although, though, although I feel like for somebody who who was so adamant about keeping this a secret and not really giving <clears> much. <throat> she shouldn't really expect any different from the media. A lot of the times, if you want to control the narrative, you freaking tell your narrative. But a lot, she was just giving us teasers here, but I'm fine. But don't you think what I'm, she said is right at the same time that a lot of people really jump on the bandwagon absolutely, of the negative stuff and not that even is on, on But that has yeah. been that, that way for yeah, the longest for long of times. I, I feel like for her. somebody who wanted to control the narrative, who, 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 who didn't yeah? want the lies that much, if it's bothering you that much, tell your fans. That, that's, I, I don't understand it sometimes with celebrities and I guess minding your business will obviously overrule any, any questions that I have for these celebrities, but sometimes you claim that you don't want us to be in your business, yeah? But you give us just enough to make it part of our business. But you're not going to handle the narrative and then complain that the people that you have brought into your business is trying to handle the narrative for you. It's either you don't tell us, any, tell us anything at all and keep it to yourself, which you have done with a lot of other issues in your life. But if you're going to tell us about the gunshot wood, tell us about it. Okay, she will tell you. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. And that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and please send your opinions via WhatsApp to 09065719 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can watch this conversation and all exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you will go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Shokeye and yes, the sir. entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe. Thank you.